It is National Ag Week, and each day this week, we are bringing you a special edition of Working It from Phillips Family Farm in nearby North Collins to show you how Western New York dairy farmers get milk from the farm to you. Oh, okay, you don't really think about that. No. Nope. It's like the peaches song, you know, peaches come from a can. You don't really think about where peaches come from. Don't really think about, well, I mean, I think milk comes from a cow. Yeah. And National Ag Week is all about <laughs> educating people like me about where food comes from and recognising the farmers who put in all of the work. 365 days a year. It That's is right. a tough gig being a farmer. And they do that to produce food for our communities. Yes, for sure. And yesterday we started by showing you how they care for those baby cows, super cute. But today I'm going to show you what goes into providing adult cows with their proper nutrition. What they have to do daily is pretty impressive. Cool. Time to get to work. Each morning while you're preparing your breakfast at home, the same thing is happening here on the Phillips Family Farm in North Collins, but on an enormous scale. While it looks like a whole lot of stuff is just being dumped into this bin, it's actually a pretty specific recipe being followed to make sure the cows on this dairy farm are getting the proper nutrition they need to live a healthy life and produce high quality milk. This front end loader is like a massive measuring cup and the folks who work on this farm follow the diet requirements to a T. Outlined by a bovine nutritionist, that's like a cow dietitian. There are crops that are grown here on the farm, hay and corn, and some that are purchased such as soybean meal, cottonseed, and something a bit surprising. We get a feed that we call chocolate feed, which is a byproduct of the human food industry. Take candy bars that are passed through date, they grind them up and feed them to cows. What? Is it just because they need calories? They need calories. It takes a lot of energy and a lot of protein to make the amount of milk that they need. That right there is like a massive food processor that mixes all the ingredients together. And then it's driven through the barn to drop the food in front of the cows. Wow, you're a very good driver. This is a tight space. This is a really big truck. This is a very big tractor. So you just loaded up how much food in that? 12 tons. 12 tons? How many cows does that food feed? 180. For how many meals? The whole day. One day? One day? Yeah. One day. Oh my gosh. Oh! <laughs> We're getting up close and personal in the tractor. The food is dropped where the cows have easy access to it throughout the day. And that is how cows get fed. I'd say I was pretty good at uh, supporting Dave while he drove. So at least I know that I have uh, a pretty good fallback if this TV thing doesn't work out. The cows have freedom to roam around the barn and return to the feeding area as they please. Each cow gets about 130 pounds of feed a day. Here on the Phillips Family Farm, there are 1,400 mature milking age cows and 1,100 younger animals. To make milk, to grow their calf, uh, to maintain their body weight and their body condition. Because cows have four stomachs, there's something pretty magical about their digesting abilities. The cows eat things that people don't eat, like hay and corn stalks and byproducts of human production. Uh, making human foods, they get fed all these leftovers and they actually turn it into a product that turns out to be good and nutritious for us. So cool. So much more than food goes into caring for these animals on a dairy farm. So tomorrow we'll show you whose job it is to make sure that dairy farmers and their employees are keeping cows healthy and comfortable. It's pretty impressive how technology also plays a huge role in helping them monitor the health and well-being of the cows. You're going to want to see it. It's awesome. Yeah. Ag Week continues on AMA. That's right. Five.